public announcement. Arsenal, the only football club that looks like they know something about football, they're playing this weekend. Oba has to score. Smith Rowe assist. Saka has to score. And Lacazette, the future of fonts, has to play. So now since you know, you gotta listen. <laughs> Simba, you didn't even give them time to digest. No introduction, you went straight to the point. Eh? Nothing, straight to the point. Introduction is for basic. Eh? It's, 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 for it's, my too basic. it's for my United fans. Gotta do an introduction <laughs> how now. As noise playing. Anyway, so now. The biggest team in, in Europe is playing this weekend. The whole world is happy. In fact, majority of the games are going down. So the whole spotlight is on Arsenal. So we got to talk about Arsenal. We are playing Leicester City. Or should I say Aubameyang versus Vardy. All right. Nashon, yes. let's take a moment and look at the head-to-head -head, um, standing uh, for these two clubs. And if you look at this graphic that we saw, you, hey, wow, we are sewing. Yes. We are sewing. Yes. Richie, yes. where is the graphic? We are sewing. Thank you very much. Thank yes. you for sewing it. Thank Richie. you for sewing it, guy. <laughs> anyway, so Arsenal, um, most recent, all right? Uh -huh. Lister knocked us in the Premier League, all right, 1 0. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And then we met at the Carabao Cup. We knocked Leicester 2-0, mm -hmm. and then we met in the league, was a draw, 1-1. One, one. Then we met again in the league. Guy, Jesus, Leicester not wake up, 2-0. Uh -huh. Guy, Leicester not to what? We don't have a good record, actually, against wow. Leicester. That is not a very good record. Yeah. Jesus so going, I think going into this <laughs> game, Arsenal should be worried now. Huh? Wait a minute. Out of five counters that Arsenal has made Leicester, that's like the latest... We've only beat them how many, how many times? Uh, once. Once, yeah. And that was in the Carabao Cup. In the so, Premier League, we don't quite have a good record. Ooh, against. Ooh, against. Ooh. Lister, look at that, man. So wait a minute. That, does it mean that Lister is going to beat us? <laughs> There's a possibility. <laughs> we are we, if, by the way, we're the King Power Stadium. So if we don't play well, if we lose composure in that particular ah, yeah, game, yeah, we might yeah, actually... Yeah. Win. Simba, just to add to that statistics, eh? yeah. uh, if you look at uh, Brendan Rogers' um, record against Arsenal, yeah. in 36 games that he was the manager, um, they've actually won five. Against Arsenal? Won five, uh -huh. drawn four, win, draw, four, and uh, what else? Losses, uh -huh. seven. Yeah, not so good, isn't it? Yeah. But anyway, that's how it stands. All right, Nashum, let's just take a look at another stat uh, mm -hmm. as we talk about this game. Yeah. Vadi and Oba, who is the strongest? Richie, can you show us the graphic as well so we can talk about it? Thank you very much. All right. Jimmy Vadi versus Pea. Emerick. Alba McLaren now? Alba That's how it is, Obama man. Alba That's it. Chelsea fans have nothing <laughs> in terms of how they even talk about their players. Okay, let's talk about this. Uh -huh. Now, this is the way it looks. Huh? On the right side, we have uh, uh, Alba and uh, Sorry, yeah, on the left side, we have uh, uh, Jamie Vardy, isn't uh -huh. it? Yeah. That's Jamie Vardy on the left, yeah? Ah, yeah, yeah. It's right yeah. or left, Simba? No, it's, it's actually right. Depending on how they're watching it. Vardy is on the right. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so potentially speaking, you will say that Vardy is a better striker than Obama. Yeah? What the hell? I don't like this. Challenge, are you watching this? <laughs> so we're playing Lister, and over the past couple of games, Vardy has better stats than Obama. Yeah. What the hell is going on? So it's, not, it's not be like this. Simba, how old is uh, Vadi? Vadi is 34, right? So, is how... it 34? Vadi is 34. Is it 34 or 33? He is uh, 34. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. How uh -huh. old is Obama? 30? 30. 30. One. So there's... 30... One. 31. 31, yeah. yeah. So there's also the experience in terms of the number of games that they played in the league. But we are going to play against Vadi. Can I, can I give you another start? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Out of the eight games that Vadi has played against Arsenal, mm -hmm. he's caught in all of them. 
That's a striking and a shocking Woo! statistic. Woo! So Vardy knows very well that every time he plays Arsenal, he's got to get a goal. Yeah. That's no good for us, isn't it? Yeah, that's not good. So we got to have our guards up. But can uh, I ask you the at, question? Yes. The Vardy has not played the players that we have right now. Arsenal have a completely new team, uh-huh. you will say. Uh-huh. So Lisa has not played this team mm-hmm. that we have right now. So mm-hmm. we're fine. You think so? Yeah, we're fine. They've, they've not played against the Barrage. Are I mean, we though? Are we though, Simba? We are fine. You I know, don't... you know, you know. The reason why Vardy has those that huge number of statistics, yeah, mm-hmm. is because he's a good player. Of course, he's a good player. And Everybody and one thing that. and one thing in football you gotta know is if a player is good, it doesn't matter who he plays against. So wait a minute. Are you that, saying that Vardy that... is gonna score? Vardy potentially has to score. Has Vardy to? has to score. That that's mm. that's my call. Vardy is gonna score. score? Auba, he's been Auba, against Leicester. He scored before against Leicester, right? Actually, been scoring against Leicester. Yeah, I think he's gonna score. All right, he's gonna score on this one. Hopefully, I hit that guy, Vadi. Please do not score against Arsenal. I'm asking you, bro. I mean, ask anyway. Simba, you should send a clarion call to <laughs> Takehiro <laughs> and the whole of that backline. Yeah? All yeah. right. So let's talk about what we think we're gonna beat Leicester then, because we have to beat Leicester. Yeah. We have to beat Leicester for us to say that Arsenal is back. Otherwise, everything we've done for the rest of for the for, for the rest of this season is useless. Mm-hmm. Tavares, we saw him play against Arsenal Villa. Mm-hmm. Ooh, we what a player! Trust me, we have a direct substitution of. Karen Tierney. Karen Tierney doesn't even have to play. Because mm-hmm. Tavares plays the way that he played mm-hmm. against um, Aston Villa, mm-hmm. then I don't think that the likes of Telemann, the likes of uh, uh, Vardy actually have a chance mm-hmm. as well. Because yeah. he was actually the best man on the pitch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what do you think? What, what do you think? Did he play like that? Because then he knows that Tierney is actually the confirmed starter in that position. Let's I talk think, about Tavares for a moment. I think he played that way because to my from the way i was looking at it he's yes. playing that way in two in because of two reasons one he is a good player it's, it's a good player two he's fighting for a starting lineup in that squad because if you look at if you look at uh, the squad right now we have quite a solid squad so every player in arsenal right now uh age out of the window right now if you're looking at the age uh, average age of the players at arsenal right now is young so at the back of his mind he knows that he he has uh he has he's in a he's in a squad that has so many good players yeah so if he's gonna start in this particular lineup then all i can say is gonna expect take. a good performance from nono tavares that's the way it is man yeah. and guess what let's talk i i, I think richie became uh uh, Man United fan today. We we've not even seen. He doesn't want to show us. Uh, saw us. He's not showing us the right Tavares. Things. Yeah, we're not seeing it. But you have Tavares <laughs> there, Richie. Come on, Tavares is right. Yes, that's that's what we want. Like, we're talking about again. We want to... Come on, I'm going to just become a Man United fan all of a sudden. Okay, let's take a moment and uh, and watch Tavares because Richie, our director, has decided I'm not going to show them that picture. <laughs> let's watch a moment. That's the way it is. Okay. Yeah. When you already tell us to continue. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Now let's talk about another man. That one you gotta show us because if you don't show us that man, then the, the whole of this thing is gone. Tierney is back as well. Would you expect him to start against Leicester? Mm-hmm. National, are you happy? He's back. I am happy. He's back. Though but I have, then, I have. Uh, would you rather Nuno plays with the way he played against Aston Villa? Um, I would rather Nuno to start. Come on. Yeah. Why? For some reason. Why? Because um, uh-huh. how many games has Nani been out of? Was that Tierney? Yeah, like Tierney. two now? Two games. Yes. And uh, looking at it, you know, right now, especially for a team like Arsenal, we have that identity. So every Tierney, minute... Tierney is part of that identity. Yeah, he's part of that identity, yes. Simba. But listen... He's been our best player so far. Yeah, he is. Yes. But... Uh, every minute that the squad players in Arsenal can can get, can get with each other is yes. valuable to them. Yes. He's missed two games. Is that is that not is that is that so much for you to say? Tierney might not have to start. Uh, Why? I think for me, he he's coming out of injury, so I think he needs maybe uh, 
if he, Nuno is already in form, like yes. you've seen how he's playing mm, right hot. at, at uh, Aston, Villa. Again, Aston Villa, you know, against Aston Villa. So I would rather Nuno starts and then Tierney comes in. Though I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not overwriting or underwriting the performance or the influence that Tierney has in the Arsenal squad. So if I must, I think that is uh, the probable way that I would yeah, uh, like suggest. That, that's the explanation. Yeah. Because we know Tierney has been quite constant in his performances. You can take a couple of things here and there yeah. uh, when he's not been really where yeah. you expect Tierney to be. Yeah. But then when he's right there in the team, this is my opinion, Nash. Mm. I, this is the only place where I look back and say, no. If yeah. Tierney is fit, uh -huh. he's got to start. And probably now, because it's coming out of injury, uh -huh. and we saw the way that uh, Nuno Tavares played <coughs> against Aston Villa, then we can say Nuno starts, mm -hmm. and then Tierney will come in for that direct substitution. All right, let's move on to the next one, Nash. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Odegaard is back. Should Odegaard start, mm -hmm. or should Lacazette start? Ah. How's it going to be? Uh, ah, that's, a, that's a tough one. <laughs> that's a tough one. Especially, that's a tough knowing one. very well, yeah. Lacazette came in against that uh, Crystal Palace game, gave us, gave us an equaliser. Even against, in the against, Carabao uh, Cup, yes, he gave us goals. Came, came, in, came in with goals as well. Yeah. Against Aston Villa, it was potentially the second most best player in that pitch. Some people say it's Lacazette, yeah. some people say it is... Uh, it is um, Nuno Tavares. Mm. Who I think, should start? I think what is going to inform that decision, whether either of them starts, because right now we need goals. Uh, maybe you can help me on this one. Um, what's the goal conversion rate for both of them? I, I will look at it and then say Odegaard is not really there to give you the goals. It's mm -hmm. just there to support the strikers. Mm -hmm. And Lacazette has been used at that number 10 position. was used in that Aston Villa game and you saw exactly what he did. Yeah. He was the reason we scored. He was the reason that we won. Yeah, he's, then, I, uh -huh. yeah here's what I think. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Odegaard not so bad. Yeah. But then with what Lacazette has done, mm -hmm. and this is a man who has had wait for so long to come out of the bench now to play the yeah. season, uh. I'd rather Lacazette start. Same to me. I'd rather we start with Lacazette. Also, considering the the, the history and the record that we have against Leicester. Right Isn't now, I... every goal matters. I mean, we are trying by all means possible to be on top of Manchester United. Uh, we are. <laughs> of course we are. Man United. But stop mentioning Man United. That's a dead club already. Oh, if, if Ole is not going, then we are better than them in a million ways. Uh, yeah, right, so let's... for me, I would rather Lacazette starts on this particular one. Odegaard... Very good player, exemplary player. Very good player. player. Yeah. But then when you have Lacazette performing like that in that yeah. position... So, Laka would rather start, yes. given his experience and his goal conversion rate. I'll go with Laka on That's this particular one. That's a big game player. Yeah. Oof, Laka. Let's, let's clear like this. There's another guy called Daka. Woo! Red hot! Patson Daka. Yeah, came off the bench, scored um, in that Leicester game that they beat Man United. Mm -hmm. Ooh, against Spartak, Spartak Moscow. Scored, scored four, four goals. In... By himself, Jesus Christ. Fine. And should we be scared? Important to mention that he made uh, six shots, four converted four goals. Oof. We should be scared. This should is why. Scared. This, this is why. This, this is why we should be scared. Yes. Somebody. And I'll yes. give you a bit of of numbers. Yes. Daka, for those who do not know, was the player of the month September, January, March, and April. He had thirty one goals. That's for Salzburg. Uh, yeah, that's it? participating for club, yes. yeah, for mm -hmm. his, in, in the Bundesliga. He had 24 goals. Yes. He's 23 years old. So for a young player scoring that much goals, number, isn't it? that's a lot, man. That's and, a lot of goals. And so Arsenal should be worried of, of Dak. Should that, be worried. So you can see that actually um, Leicester have a replacement in Vardy once Vardy steps out, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's a perfect replacement for Vardy. Vardy. And yeah. when he plays... There are goals that are coming from him. Yeah. Shilenja was trying to speak shit about Daka, like, where would he play? You come in and take Vana off the game, if you're listening. Daka has to play. Daka is way better than Vana. How many, how many goals does Vana have this season? <laughs> come on, man. Daka is better, and they're scared of it. Because here's the thing. He was supposed to go to Man United. He was supposed to go to uh, Arsenal. He was supposed Liverpool to go to as Liverpool, well, yeah. as well. Liverpool They didn't as well, get him. Yeah. Yeah. Leicester got him, and yeah. we're seeing how Leicester's recruitment regime is really better than yeah. for Chelsea, Arsenal, Man United included. Man United right. should not even be in that list. Let's clear it like this. <laughs> Let's clear it like this. Let's play like this. Nashon, quickly, your prediction. My prediction for this particular one, huh, it's, a, it's a tough game. Um, Arsenal is coming into this game very invigorated. Like, we've been like this, like this. You know, like every player... We've been clicking. 
Yeah, we've been Will clicking like things are clicking and left, right, and center. In what? Some games now. Yeah. Across all competitions. Yeah. Um, we haven't even spoken about Aaron Ramsdale, but that's a conversation for another day. For me, uh, given the nature of that particular game, mm -hmm. uh, factoring in the record that they have, yeah. I feel it's going to be an uphill task for Arsenal in the sense of... Can you, can you, can you add a but? In the sense of... Yeah? Yeah. In the sense of uh, they have a good history against us. Mm -hmm. So they have a knack for scoring goals and winning against us. My take for this particular one is a draw. Come on. Yeah. I'm not taking a draw. It's Here's a draw why. for me. Here's why. Why? Why me, are you not giving it a draw? Let me give you let me give me a prediction as we clear. Mm -hmm. Leicester, they've never played against Duno. They've never played against Tomiyasu. Mm -hmm. They've never played against um, good players that we have in that team now. Mm -hmm. It's a completely different team. Mm -hmm. They're gonna meet a different Saka, different Smith Howie. Mm -hmm. They're gonna meet a different keeper. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be a good game. Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. Low scoring because their defense is good. Our defense is good. Mm -hmm. Here's what I'm giving it: two one in favor of Arsenal. They gotta score. Maybe Vardy has gotta score, but mm -hmm. we're gonna win two one. Vardy has to score. He, also, he always finds a way to find an Arsenal fan all of a sudden. Yeah. Marshall, just leave it there. <laughs> just don't be an Arsenal fan all of a sudden. Just leave it there. Yes, we know he's gonna score, but just leave it there. Don't say he has to score. <laughs> anyway, guys, just down here. Just give us your comments. What you think uh, the, your prediction is? And then, guys, let's this video get about 50 likes. If we can get 50 likes, then we're pretty much good to go. And the journey to 400 starts officially. Thank you very much for subscribing so far. We know we're going to hit 1,000 before the end of this year. Guess what? Let's push it to 400. Meet you in the next one. Isn't that? That's it.